welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but something I think is very important, and that's weight management or obesity. It's actually become one of the world's leading health problems, and specifically when we talk about knees and knee arthritis, it is a contributing factor. It's been found that about 16% of people in America will develop arthritis in their knee in their lifetime. If you are overweight, however, that risk can double. So when people ask me commonly, is there any way for them to stop or reverse their arthritis, the answer is no. But if you were looking ways to slow down the progression of the arthritis, and if you were overweight, by losing weight, you may not only decrease your pain, but you will actually slow down the progression of arthritis. Now, unfortunately, if you have severe bone-on-bone -bone arthritis and are overweight and you lose weight, the arthritis will not go away. It may hurt less, though. So when it comes to knee replacement, this is even more important because there have been some studies that have shown that people that are overweight and have surgery may be at increased risks for some complications. So prior to surgery, your doctor may work with you in different ways that you can do to lose weight prior to surgery to decrease the risks. Now weight loss is a very difficult thing to talk about and it's even more difficult for some people to achieve weight loss. So I urge you to go out and talk to your primary care doctor or find a nutrition, nutritionist locally that can sit down and talk to you. And I talk to a lot of my patients that are struggling with their weight and although I'm not a nutritionist or a weight management specialist, there are some things that I've talked to the patients about over the years that I found have been helpful. So first and foremost, we know a lot of times it is a basic math thing. If you increase your calories and do some low impact activity and decrease some of your caloric intake, that alone may help you lose weight. And I really stress to my patients to not set a goal weight. A lot of times setting a goal weight may seem unobtainable. So I always talk to my patients of setting some realistic goals and focusing on one pound per week. Now in reality, if you lose just one pound a week for an entire year, that can be 52 pounds at the end of the year. And some people may not even need to lose that much. So right now what I'd like you to do is actually go online and Google up or search up what's called a body mass indicator, a BMI. And what you'll do is you'll input your height and weight and it will give you a number. So actually pause this video right now. Go online and calculate your BMI or body mass index. Okay, you're back. So if your BMI was under 25, that's great. That you actually are doing perfect. If your BMI was over 25, then you have some work to do. So the first things I have people do is really look at what they eat and how they eat. Sometimes there's something simple, like soda. If you drink soda, eliminate that from your diet. For some patients, I find it's portion size. They may put too much on their plate or they bring a whole bunch of things to the table and dip into seconds and thirds. So by not bringing all of the food to the table and preparing your plate, putting extras away, or sometimes it's as simple as using a smaller plate, which you can fill with less food, that is one way that you can cut down on the calories consumed. Some people are snackers. So if you do snack, or possibly the snacks that you use are high in calories, low in nutrition, you might get rid of those snacks or try different things. For example, if you had a bag of potato chips, I find that most people could polish off an entire bag of potato chips. And at the end, you get a drink and you're still hungry. Now, if you take a handful of nuts, a lot of times you'll get a lot more nutrition from those handfuls of nuts, and you'll feel a lot fuller quicker. Now, the other important thing is eating out, eating in. Uh, although it's nice to go out and have someone cook for you and clean for you, eating out over time tends to increase the amount of calories that we consume. So you may think more about eating it at home and cooking fresher meals. One of the things I talk to people a lot about is try to eat locally and eat fresh. You can cook a lot of simple meals at home that don't require a lot of fried foods, and deep heavy sauces with lots of salt and lots of sugar. And sometimes it's a matter of just making some of these smaller changes day by day, week by week, which will help you over time lose weight. So hopefully some of these ideas and some of these tips and tricks will help you 
I have some other handouts on my website that you can download. But if you have been struggling with your weight, I strongly encourage you to talk to your primary care doctor. Sometimes there are some medical treatments and there are some medical diseases which may make your weight loss more and more difficult and they may have treatments or they may be able to refer you to weight management clinics that can help start you down a healthy path of decreasing your weight which will in turn decrease your knee pain and lower your risk of arthritis. Thanks for watching.